Over this New Year's Eve weekend, I went to some fun events like the delicious Ukrainian food day, got to hang out more with my sibling, and also the super fun winter fair at Taipei Grand Mosque. It was so, so, so fun. There were many local independent businesses you can support, delicious halal food, clothing, and look at this tiny book of Quran, it is so cute! And wonderful cultural programs you could join, like wearing a hijab while chatting with their lovely volunteers, and touring the beautiful Taipei Grand Mosque. It was actually my first time being inside the mosque, and it is so tranquil, beautiful, and inspiring, especially with such a lovely brother as our guide. There's also loads of solidarity with Palestine you could see, which is so important. I really, really hope more people in Taiwan start to learn more about Palestine. On that note, I'd like to share a highlight of my interview with Nada Ikmut and Tarek Supo of the Palestine national baseball team. I got to chat with them during their time here at the 2023 Asian Baseball Championship here in Taiwan earlier this December. I loved every second of our conversation, so check the links below for more related interviews. Wishing you all a happy new year and viva Palestine! We have to talk about the opening ceremony. Okay. I know that you hold the Palestinian flag, you know, with so much pride. Also, your national anthem was played in the stadium. Could you share with us what was going through your head during the opening ceremony here in Taiwan? I'm going to start with this. What makes this trip so special is that there's so many stories that are within it. One of them being the opening ceremony. We had practice that day. There was a certain time slot that we couldn't go around. So from here, from Taichung all the way to Taipei City took about three hours. And the ceremony started at five o'clock, I think. We got there about 5.15. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> rush, rush. Rush. We got dropped off where all the fans were coming in, so we get off the bus and everyone's oh. you know, videotaping us, and we're just trying to hurry up <laughs> and get to the inside. And I just remember, you know, we, we had a bunch of flags with us, rushed onto the field, and all of a sudden, there's 20,000 people just Yeah, it was packed. So, it was packed, yeah. yeah. And everyone's just sitting so quietly, and we're just walking in you know, all loud <laughs> so with ready. our flags and our kofias and... We, we walked in with our chest high and we were very excited and happy to see, you know, this spectacle, really. I mean, we didn't know what to expect. Um, mm -hmm. The fact that there was so many people there and we uh, had a grand entrance, as they like to call yeah, it. Yeah, I saw the highlight, we were light. Yeah. It was just surreal. And the fact that, you know, we came in fashionably late was <laughs> a, a nice little, yeah. I don't know, caveat to the story. Yeah, yeah. nod to our culture, Arabic yeah, time. Exactly. <laughs> A nod to our culture. For but sure. I'd like to just add that, you know, having our flags like in that moment and having our kufiyas and representing Palestine, Palestine, especially right now, was a big, important moment for us. Yes. Um, even when we take in uh, cabs and Ubers around town, you know, we try to talk to people about where we're from. Because a lot of people, sometimes they don't even know what Palestine is. Yeah. They don't understand uh, our plight. And sometimes they don't understand the similarities that both Taiwanese and Palestinians have. Yes, which we will talk about later on.